morning everyone happy saturday oh my gosh <laughs> my mess um hope you guys are having a good weekend so far um i'm clearly taking a a uh, relaxing day um we did the grocery store this morning got all of that done i always feel it i say it like every week because like it's, you're going into battle <laughs> for when wearing masks and it's just so depressing but anyway we got it done and then came home and um, I've just really kind of been laying low. My um, daughter has declared that she really wants to make dinner tonight. So i um, totally letting her go <laughs> with that one. Um, I'll be there for any help if she needs it. But yeah, the floor is hers. Um, so that's exciting for me. And uh, my husband got my kids down in the basement. They were cleaning while I was finishing all of my cover stitching and that pile of cover stitching I need to do. And it is all done. That fabric you see back there just needs to be surged to be washed. Um, that was in my main plans. Uh, so anyway, that has happened. And now I have cut or printed out, well, I printed out my Sienna Maker jacket um, I think before I talked to you yesterday. And I have it cut out, doll taped together, cut out. And I've made, uh, the only alterations I've made to the pattern are I short it, shortened the body by an inch. Because um, I do want it to hit, hit, to hit me like right at that hip length that the um, hits on the models. And since I'm only 5'2", usually a petite, adjustment ish is about an inch so um, I just arbitrarily did an inch and then she does have the sleeve length on the pattern I'm making a size 12 it's supposed to be a little bit of a drop shoulder so I'm not going to mess with the shoulder it'll be dropped on me because I always have to issues with the shoulders um, but it's supposed to be drop shoulder anyway but the um, sleeve was 24 and my um, sleeve measurements 22 and a half um, so I went ahead and shortened all of the sleeve pieces by an inch and a half too so that's all I've done. I've shortened the body by an inch and all the corresponding pieces and then the sleeve by an inch and a half and all the corresponding pieces for that because <laughs> there's like a pocket on the sleeve. So um, I shortened that as well. Okay, so now I'm going to take you over to the cutting table and we're going to see. I've ironed my yellow linen, the heavyweight linen from Fabric Dash Store. And um, sorry, I have to call it instead of just Fabric Store because it gets confusing with the Fabric Store and Fabric Store. Um, cause I buy both linen at both places. <laughs> um, so anyway, I've got it all ironed and laid out on the cutting table. So we're going to go see if we can Tetris this pattern to get, um, I'm hoping with the shortening I did, that minimal shortening that I did on those pattern pieces that I'll be able to get that cut out. So of my two yards, cause the pattern actually calls for two and a quarter. So fingers crossed. Okay. So let's go over there and get that cut out. Okay, so I got it cut out of the yellow. Yay! So it is behind me here. I got it all cut out today. I got my lining cut out, and then I got all of my um, pieces that need to be interfaced, interfaced. Um, I'm going to use buttons on it. There's an option for buttons or snaps on the jacket. I am going to use buttons. I have some bigger, like, um, um, they almost look like turtle shell type buttons. Tortoise shell. <laughs> but they're not. They're just plastic ones um, that I got from my mentor Joyce's stash. Um, still stained. <laughs> so um, I think I am going to use those. Um, also very well blown. I went on a walk. I cut that out and then my husband and I went on an hour long walk. Went a little over three miles. It was lovely. Um, but yeah, so that is ready to be sewn tomorrow. Um, we've had dinner. My daughter fixed dinner for us tonight, which was lovely. Um, yeah, I'm being very pampered. It's not even Mother's Day yet. But I um, want to, I was thinking about some um, sewing that I kind of want to do. Probably not in May. This will probably be sewing that I do in June. But I kind of wanted to plan a little bit of it out. And that is some active wear sewing. So um, since I've been, <laughs> since my husband and I have been going on a lot of walks together, um, my active wear, um, the active wear that I own is very, you know, I got it from Target um, or whatever, and it's just very bagged out and really 
it's just not attractive and my sports bras are not doing the trick at all. So I have the Green Style Creations um, Power Sports Bra, I think it's called. Um, and I actually already have it printed out. I just need to um, cut out my size, figure out what my size is and cut that out. Um, and that was from um, So My Style last year when I was one of the leaders. And um, I received the pattern for uh, free because I was one of the leaders. I have not made it up yet, but I've heard great things about it. And all of the working out that I do is pretty low impact. So I'm not real concerned about, um, you know, because I am very busty about making my own sports bras because the compression ones, I mean, for what I do is pretty good. You know, it's yoga, it's walking, it's pretty low. I mean, I'm not jumping around. I'm not um, bouncing around. Even when if I'm doing any strength training exercises, nothing, you know, it's not high impact. So um, I think that I would be fine, you know, some good power mesh and be good to go. Anyway, <laughs> we are heading to Colorado. I think I mentioned it um, in, G in July, hopefully, fingers crossed. We have rented a house in Breckenridge with my parents and my sister and her family. And uh, we'll see, two years ago now, I guess, we went to uh, Frisco and did kind of the same thing. We did a lot of hiking and a lot of outdoor stuff. And we were pretty much in athletic wear almost the whole time because we were actually doing um, active things the whole time, um, with the exception of a few activities. But, so all that to say, <laughs> my, war my athletic wear wardrobe needs a rehaul. My sister loves the Lululemon um, activewear, like for her all her workout clothes and stuff. She really enjoys the Lululemon um, leggings, but I really feel like they're very pricey. I don't know if any of you are aware of that brand, but they're extremely pricey. And I have heard that some good, if you can find good suplex, which is just a, um, a polyester spandex, uh, brand, I believe, you know, like Lycra is a brand name of spandex or whatever. I think Suplex is a brand name as well. That if you can find that fabric, it's pretty much the same thing, um, is what I've heard. Is my iron off? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> and um, anyway, Green Style Creations sells some fabric, as does the Fabric Fairy also sells um, some really nice athletic wear. So my plan is basically to build an athletic wear module so I can have stuff to wear when we're in, in Colorado, um, which will be a lot of layers, obviously. We're up in the mountains, so the temperature could vary, you know, drastically from day to night. Um, you know, even in the morning, if we're hiking in the morning, you may start off in a, a, a jacket, you know, your leggings and a shirt or whatever and then end up stripped down with the jacket tied around your waist and you're in a tank top um, with the leggings or whatever later on in the day so I definitely want some uh, layers and um, anyway I want to try out some more of the green style creations patterns anyway there are a couple of their leggings patterns I've heard really really good things about Karina from lifting pins and needles has made them Rachel from stitched up um, a couple of their legging patterns she's really loved for her running. So um, anyway, I was going to have a look on their website and then do just a little bit of fabric uh, window shopping and see if we can um, put together a little bit of a module. So I had my son help me download some screen recording software. So <laughs> we're going to go over to my computer and see if we can make that work. Um, so I'm going to take you guys over there and I'll probably say goodnight to you after we're done doing that. Um, so yeah, so I won't see you face to face again. So good night. But yes, we're going to go do some screen recording, um, which I'll show you next. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. All right. So let's have a look at what I have been looking at. Okay. So I, um, have some patterns that I've pulled up here that I already own and then some I'm thinking about owning. And then I'll show you the fabric order. I think I'm going to, um, place. So number one, I'm looking for two jackets. I already own this Constellation hoodie um, and pullover. This is the Love Notions. I will pull that up. Um, it comes with a hood or without a hood, uh, but I think I am definitely going to make myself, I've made these for my kids. This pattern comes um, in a pattern for men, women, and children, and I've made the men's and I've made uh, the women's already for my kids. Um, so I don't know if I'll make the one with the hood or without. My other jacket that I already own is this J. Lee zip front jacket and hoodie. This is the one that my son made, um, that I helped my son make for his um, jacket recently. Oops. 
here's a picture of the pattern, the front of the pattern. So I want to make myself one. I got his permission. <laughs> but um, I think which I'll make one with a hood and one without. So either this one will be with a hood and the other one will be without or vice versa. So those are the two topper patterns that I am thinking about um, for this little active wear um, module that I'm putting together. I can close that right there. Okay, next up, I have this simplicity. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the up close. I have this simplicity uh, tank top pattern and it's been around for a little bit. Let me get to the cover here. Um, it has three different backs. Honestly, I think this back right here in the middle looks like it would be extremely annoying. I feel like that'd be falling off your shoulders constantly. But I do like this little gathered back here, and then I like, obviously, just the straight racer back. Um, you know, if you've got your sports bra kind of peeking out there, I think that that's fine and looks just lovely. Um, so I do like those two versions, and I already own that pattern. Also with Simplicity, I own, I think it's the sports bra, bra pattern. This is the one that comes with cup size for every band size. Um, and I actually have a, some, a bra that I've cut up for a wearable muslin. I just never finished putting it together, and I can't remember why. Um, but I do have that in a box, so I may unearth that, finish sewing that bra up and see how I like it. And then um, go from there. So I've got that one. And then I also already own, oh, I forgot to pull this one up. Hold on. I also own from Green Style Creations, and I kind of mentioned it before. Um, but I own the Power Sports Bra. which is this bra right here. So I already have this one in my arsenal. Here's the line drawings for that one. It has a few different, um, I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is the one I own. I think this is really pretty though. The strappy cross back, uh, the strappy U back, obviously there's the strappy front. I don't know if that would be a nightmare trying to get it on or off. Again, I don't do very um, intense workouts. So I think I can get, even though I'm larger busted, this comes in a myriad of, um, cup sizes and stuff. But okay, so that's kind of what I'm thinking um, for tops. Also for tops, also on Green Style Creations, I was looking at this, um, this is their Elevate Crop Top and Overlay. Um, I might lengthen this crop top just a wee bit. I would definitely wear high-waisted bottoms with it always, but I do like the way it looks with the um, little overlay piece here. And it kind of looks like I would get double coverage, maybe, because I, I would wear a sports bra under this, I believe. Um, but if you look at the line drawings, you get a lot of variation. So here's the overlay, and this one really interests me as just a layering piece. Um, oh yeah, they have a full bust front with a high neckline and no, a low neckline. Yeah, I think I definitely need to get this one. And then all of these different, you know, a sleeveless option, long sleeved, uh, different variations of just this um, easy throw over the top shirt, which you could do in a whole bunch of different kinds of knits, really. Um, next up, I was also looking at this Studio Street top, although I think I may just stick with that other one. Um, you know, this just has like, it's just a layering piece. So I think I, th I can do enough maybe with this pattern, which is that Elevate crop top and overlay, that I wouldn't need this one. So I think I could save some money there. So I'm going to close this one. And then for leggings, I have heard really good things about, these are the stride leggings. Um, I don't know if they've got line drawings there, but here's a whole bunch of people in them. They have a very large size range as well, which is fantastic. I just think that um, the color blocking options, the way it wraps around there um, and everything just looks really nice. Um, you know, you can do a solid, keep the rest in a print. You could do it all in a solid. Um, and I think it's this one. Yes, they even have this where you can use a mesh, where obviously the mesh is underlined um, in part of this. And then, you know, it's, it's sheer from like, you know, mid thigh down, which I think is really cool and looks a lot like some of the ready to wear. So that's interesting to me. And again, they've just, oh wait, I guess that's the pattern cover there. But I think I'm gonna try this um, leggings patterns, legging pattern first. They do have others. There's a one and all over 
print. So you can kind of see what it looks like just in one fabric. Um, oh, that's cute. They're twins. <laughs> but, um, oh, there you go. There they are in an all-over solid fabric. We've got the little pocket. You can kind of see the lines of the pattern a little bit better. But I think these are going to be the, the ones that I try the first, and I'm pretty sure, yes, that there is a crotch gusset as well, which is what I really want in my leggings, because I do yoga in mine. So yeah, there's a lot of really good versions here. So yeah, I'm going to try out this, this pattern here. So as far as fabric, sorry, I was looking at the, um, this trim. So I'm thinking for leggings. I really want to try out some of the Suplex um, Lycra jersey. I am over here on the Fabric Ferry, um, and I've decided just to kind of stick with them just for ease. I have $170 of stuff in my cart here, um, but this is, the, they don't have a ton of colors of the, the Suplex, Suplex. But they do have this bright orange, which I think, I mean, that's going to be a bright pair of leggings. But I think I can definitely get um, a pair of leggings and with a sports bra out of, the pattern calls for two yards. I doubt I need two yards. Um, I want to do the cropped length, so one that's like right above my ankle instead of full length. Um, but that, I was thinking for leggings. I have some... Um, solid olive in my stash that I'm going to use for a pair of leggings and then I also grabbed some of this which is um, kind of a merlot color that I think is really pretty that one is for leggings and then so I have two um, modules kind of going here. I have um, olive green is going to be kind of my um, neutral for both, but then I'm going to go kind of the Merlot purple direction and then an orange direction. So for the Merlot purple direction, I have picked out, this is a, um, it's the same color as that um, legging fabric I showed you. It's coming across really dark on screen, but they're both called, called Carbon Merlot. So I think they're the same, pretty sure the same color, but I'm gonna do one of my jackets in this one. And then I will have the, the leggings. And then I thought also, let's see. I also have pulled this Polar Tech um, Power Stretch fleece fabric for the other jacket in this olive color. And again, I already have olive in my stash, um, activewear olive that I bought from Blackbird Fabrics quite a while ago for a pair of leggings. So I'll probably just use that one. Um, this Carbon Malow had a really cool mesh fabric that went with it, but they're sold out, unfortunately, and I was gutted. But um, it's probably for the best. <laughs> it would have been really cool, though. And then I'm also grabbing a yard of this um, camo. I don't wear a ton of camo, and this is actually swimsuit fabric, but I thought this might be fun. I just am getting a yard as like a tank, one of the tanks, or even maybe um, because, I mean, this stuff is, what is it, the width here? We are at 60 inches wide. And I need a yard for the inserts in those stride leggings, um, which I think I could easily do with this um, with my olive color, because um, these are different shades of green that are in here. But then I thought it would also be a cool um, tank top to wear. Um, and then maybe I could also get a sports bra out of that olive green as well. Um, actually, the more I'm talking about this, I may buy a second um, olive green color too. It was a kale. Um, and then I'm also looking at this Purple Fizz Marl, which I think would be pretty as a tank top over that Merlot and also the um, olive green as well. Um, let's see, what else am I looking at here? Yeah, I think I am going to go back in and order one more, um, maybe, there was a another solid um, bottom weight legging fabric. Okay, so that's kind of it for one of the modules. And then also with the olive greens, they can kind of stretch over. I liked the, the orange, and I showed you that orange suplex. And then I'd also grabbed a yard of this tangerine dry flex marl um, for possibly a top. 
Um, and then I grabbed, this is swimsuit fabric, but there's something about the colors here just really made me happy. <laughs> You know, it's got all the oranges and kind of the marigold colors and then um, even a little bit of red. It looks like like that dark orangey red and then some purple. I thought that would go nicely with um, maybe even there might be, you know, enough with the purple and the darker colors here that they might even go with those Merlot leggings. Um, but to do a tank top in this. I don't know why I was just really drawn to that print for workout wear for some reason. Um, what else? And then I also have this um, orange here. And I'm actually grabbing two yards of this because I think I can get leggings and maybe one of those um, crop tops out of it and then um, do, you know, one of the overlays as well in a color. I'm not really sure yet what. But finally, I also threw in here this stone, which makes me think it's probably, it means white, um, but I thought that was a really cool texture that was there, and I thought this would make a really cool um, overlay. So, and it is Nike offcuts. So I, you know, and it's, you know, a white or a cream or whatever color um, stone. It may go a little gray. I hope it doesn't go too gray, though. Sometimes that's hard to tell. Um, but I thought that would be a good lighter neutral to wear um, with some of those other colors. So there you have it. That, uh, in conjunction with what I've already got in the basement, is what I'm thinking of ordering. Um, and I will show you what I've got uh, in the basement now in my current stash. Okay. Okay. Happy Sunday. It's Mother's Day. If you're um, I think in a few places. The UK, it's not Mother's Day. But I think even Australia, someone said that it was Mother's Day today. But that it always falls on May 10th, maybe in Australia. Um, anyway, if you are in the uh, Northern or North America, because I think Canada has Mother's Day right now too. Definitely the US. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> um, so I told you I was going to go look at stuff online last night, and I did, and um, got completely overwhelmed. That happens to me a lot when I'm in planning mode. <laughs> I have to stop. Went to bed, woke up this morning. I've been thoroughly pampered by my family. I had breakfast made for me. I had lunch made for me. Um, I've just been being really, um, well, lazy. I mean, I've been on my computer just doing some research and stuff and trying to figure out um, what I want to do about this um, athletic wear that I need without going overboard. That is a problem that I have. <laughs> um, in the past, I have definitely been not necessarily an impulse shopper because I never even before making things, I wasn't like a, a huge shopper. But then when I needed, when I did shop, it was, which wasn't often, but it was like, it was like a big shop, um, which is kind of the way I buy fabric now. You know, when I come into like some, a little bit of Christmas money, birthday money, that kind of stuff, um, I really have to pace myself so that I, I'm buying things that I actually be more mindful of what I'm buying. So everything that I just showed you um, from Fabric Fairy, I've not bought anything yet, um, including pa the patterns that I I showed you the ones that I already own. Obviously, I already have those, but I've not purchased any of the other green style creation um, patterns as of yet. Um, <clears throat> I already had the sports bra because I got that for Sew My Style last year. Um, and then I've got the simplicity patterns that are in one of the buckets back there. And again, I had a sports bra cut out that I was going to try and play around with, and I just kind of, I don't even know why I lost interest. But I wanted to show you what I have in my stash here. Um, I had, with the intention of buying, excuse me, take a sip of my water. Um, with the intention of making active wear and then just kind of, I don't know, fell off the deep end. Not everything's from Blackbirds here, but I want to show you kind of what I have. So I had actually grabbed these two. This is meant actually, was meant for golf wear. Um, this is from Fabric Mart Fabrics and this is kind of a strawberry color, which is definitely more, in fact, I can even see, look how much more pink my skin looks at that up next to my skin. Uh, and the same with this. So I'm not sure. Um, this is kind of a mesh one. It's a really cool fabric. It's see-through, which I think would be really cool layered or like as inserts, that kind of thing, or like a, an overlay type shirt. Um, and I'm just trying, yeah, I mean, it goes really well with the strawberry, but I think it would be pushing it to go any warmer, you know, like with a red or whatever. Um, so anyway, that may, I don't know what, what I'm going to end up doing with that. Um, if that'll be something for my daughter, maybe, or, you know, maybe I'll bite the bullet and do something with that. 
I also just turned my iron on. I don't want to melt any of this. Okay, uh, this is the stuff I got from Blackbirds a while back. So I got this. This is poly. Um, it was recycled poly. What is it called? Recycled poly athletic knit. I've literally had this for like a couple of years. <laughs> it's like the color of my shirt. But I have this olive green. I have 1.5 meters of it, um, which I think should allow me to get um, a pair of leggings, cropped leggings, and probably at least um, maybe a crop top, uh, one of those crop tops I was showing you, or definitely a sports bra. Um, if I could get both, that would be even better, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd be pushing it. Um, I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to kind of see what the situation is there. So that's the olive green that I said that I already have. And then also from Blackbirds, I ordered two of these space dyed athletic knits. This one's in this dark purple, which is a little more blue, um, a little more of a cooler purple technically than I should be wearing. This feels lovely though. Um, but I mean, and I actually don't wear black very often, but I think for uh, pants, this would be nice. And I also bought, this I got um, quite a while ago, and actually I bought other athletic wear fabric to go with it and ended up using that for bathing suits. But I have this mesh that's obviously very see-through, but I thought that this would be cool as inserts, just in places like on the legs, like below the knee, maybe. I don't have, you know, it's very th narrow. I probably have two yards of it, but it's only it's only this wide. Oh no, I bet that that's, never mind. <laughs> this is the Selvage Whitney, so it's not narrow. It is very wide, probably 60 inches wide, and then I probably have like half of a yard. That's probably 18 inches, don't you think? Yeah. I probably have half a yard, but 60 inches wide. Yeah, that makes better sense. <laughs> Okay, so I've got those, um, and then I had bought these to kind of go together. So I bought the same as the olive green, I bought kind of this plum color, and then this space dyed. I have 1.5 meters of each, I bought 1.5 meters of each of these. Now I think that this space dyed one, and yes it is pink, but it's got that um, kind of Merlot burgundy color that's in it too. So um, I liked those together, however, I tried to make a pair of leggings out of this um, from Fair Trade had a book out about sewing your own athletic wear and you're basically uh, making your own patterns and you know like you do I went ahead this does have a gusset which is lovely um, but I went ahead and powered on through and they're huge on me like huge <laughs> so I don't know if I added seam allowances and wasn't supposed to I have no idea what happened there um, but I, it's got the yoga waistband, which I really wanted. So maybe I need to try these back on again and see where I can make them smaller. I mean, they looked not, they were awful. They fit awful. So I may try these on again and see if I can um, alter them to make them work or, I don't know, or at least salvage something of them. So I just have them here. And then this is the leftover fabric um, from that yardage that also kind of goes into that purpley. And this is actually one of, this is one of my colors, the purpley stuff. So those are the ones that I've already got that I think I can easily use. And I do have some other swimsuit knits. Um, most of those are, I mean, they're like a, like for swimwear, like they are, um, I mean, the fabric's very similar, but they're, um, a little thinner like you wouldn't want to make leggings out of them because they would probably go see-through But it's fine in a swimsuit that you're lining with like um, Swimsuit lining so uh, anyway, that's kind of what I'm dealing with so I'm just going to Set this all out. I'm gonna try these leggings back on and see if I can fix those and then finish them Because then that would be actually be a pair already done. I Just they were really big and kind of weird. So I'll try those on later and see what we can think How I can fix those um, but those have just been in a two fix pile forever. So anyway, I think that a lot of this will go with those fabric fabrics that I picked out. So I just, um, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to buy a ton of stuff and then have to figure out what I'm going to be making with it or how I'm going to use it or yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Cause I had quite a, quite a sizable amount in the cart. So it's going to sit in the cart today. Let me marinate on it before I purchase anything. Um, but that's just kind of what I'm thinking. Again, I won't get to any of this sewing until June, um, and I don't really need to. I mean, my, um, my, um, athletic, current athletic wear is looking very sad. I mean, it, I mean, I need a whole, like, 
wardrobe re remodel of my athletic wear. All of it. <laughs> um, but again, you know, like, um, you know, how much do, do is one really need? Um, I think a few, I had four pairs of leggings right now and four or five tops and then three sports bras and those just all need to be replaced. So, um, and I don't have any athletic jackets. I really need some some good toppers, you know, especially for the transitional um, seasons when we're out walking and stuff. I don't have a good like athletic zip up jacket. Um, so I think that those, definitely those two toppers would be excellent, not only for our trip to Colorado, but just for um, our walks and that kind of thing that we're doing around here. So that is that, okay. Um, we're going to see how long my battery lasts today. I haven't charged it yet, um, since yesterday. Uh, I still need a second one. Uh, we'll get there. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm going to work on my Sienna Maker jacket, so I'm going to put you guys on time lapse while I do that. I'm probably going to turn the TV on. Um, yeah, and I'll just take you till the battery dies. Okay. Okay, so here is where I'm stopping for today. Um, sorry I did not show as much as I meant to. Um, my battery died, and then um, I spent was spending so much time at my pressing table, which you can't see anyway from that angle. So I'm, yeah, I think I'm not going to show you any of the sewing because I don't think it makes sense. <laughs> okay, so here we are. I've got my pockets on. Obviously, it's very rumpled because it's linen and it's been through the sewing machine. But I've got my lapel all top stitched down. You can see there. And then you also top stitch it down um, on the inside. I've just chosen to serge um, to finish off the inside of my edges because this is a work jacket. So I kind of want it to retain. I could have done flat fell seams, um, but this is pretty thick fabric. And um, anyway, I just decided to go with um, serging. Let me show you the back. Hold on. There's the back. Obviously, it's not been hemmed yet. Um, and my uh, mannequin is quite a bit smaller than I am. But I've already got the buttons and the buttonholes on. There, I've chosen to use um, buttons instead of snaps. But yeah, I think this is going to be, I mean, it's not hanging very well at the moment, but <laughs> you get the idea. Um, I think this is going to be a really um, beautiful jacket when all is said and done. Really, really useful. Okay, so that's where I'm going to stop for today. Um, I just really have to do um, the sleeves, which they have a pocket like that's there on the sleeve, so those may take a little bit. Um, which is why I'm kind of stopping for today. It's like five, five o'clock. So my family is going to be making me dinner this evening. So I'm going to go ahead and stop so I can spend some time with them because I still need to edit this video to go up. Um, anyway, so yeah, just need sleeves and a hem. And then we're, I've got a, my Sienna maker's jacket. I'm so excited about this. It's going to be so good, I think. Um, so I think I'll probably, uh, tomorrow go ahead and finish that. Um, because all my machines are set up for it. Uh, and then we will delve into the, um, I've got some um, Kimberly's I need to make for um, Athena, the AK patterns for Athena that I had um, told her that I would do for, uh, to help her out. And also I'm gonna be filming the sew along for that dress because um, I wanted to show you guys how to uh, line up, fully line a bodice, uh, sleeveless bodice that, um, or we could do, maybe I'll do sleeves on one and do the other one sleeveless. I'm gonna do a V-neck and a scoop neck. I'm gonna do two dresses at once. Um, but I was going to show you how to fully line um, the dress, both a sleeveless one and one with sleeves. Uh, I won't be lining the sleeves, but I'll line the bodice. And um, show you how to do, that, to do that when there is no lining for the pattern. So that pattern actually uses a facing. So how to convert that if you want to do that, which is my preference actually. So uh, that's what we have planned because um, that will be next Sunday's video that will go up. So that's kind of what we got planned for the week. Um, and then maybe getting a little sewing here or there done as well. Okay, I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. Again, happy Mother's Day if you are celebrating today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!